Are you seeing improvements in Gervonta, or in your opinion, he's still the same Gervonta from that night you fought him? Isaac Cruz and Gervonta Davis are at it again, and fans would be glad only if this back and forth leads them into the ring for the second time. Broly or, or yeah, Isaac Cruz, so I can't really, you know what I mean? Cruz claimed Tank isn't getting any better than his previous self, and Tank has fired back at him and even called him out for a rematch. Following his 30th career win against Frank Martin, Gervonta Davis had been quite silent on social media and everywhere else. But his silence was only short-lived, as all it took to end it was a call-out and mockery from his old rival Isaac Cruz. Why do you think that is, uh, Pitbull? Following Isaac Cruz's statement, Gervonta Davis fired back furiously and even challenged Pitbull Cruz for a rematch to show him how much of an improved boxer he is. Um, see, he's tougher, but I definitely see when I get in there. Isaac Cruz, in preparation for his upcoming fight on August 3rd against Jose Valenzuela, was interviewed and was asked to discuss a wide range of topics. And while he did, he was asked about the opponent he fought three years ago in a bout that announced him to the entire boxing world and gave him a solid fan base and the famous nickname, the Mexican Mike Tyson. Pues lastimada de alguna manera y... Isaac Cruz was asked about Gervonta Davis's recent performances, and he responded like an unimpressed fan who would demand so much more from the Baltimore champion before giving him accolades. He responded, I don't think he improved or got worse. I think he's the same person, Gervonta. I think he gets hit more. Once he said this, he was asked why he had this strange sentiment. You could ask a hundred boxing fans and they keep saying the same about Tank Davis, just like they would say the same about Shakur Stevenson's boredom. Anyways, Isaac Cruz replied, because his face was never really bruised like that before, but his last couple of fights he has shown to get hurt in some way, and a lot of his opponents never really passed the fourth or fifth round, but now his opponents are going into the sixth and eighth rounds. They now have a blueprint on how to fight him and how to create a strategy. Mexico City's Pitbull Cruz made this controversial comment as he prepares to risk his World Boxing Association 140-pound title versus Jose Rayo Valenzuela. Their bout will land on the August 3rd Israel Madrimov versus Terence Bud Crawford undercard at BMO Stadium in Los Angeles, California, and the event will mark the first boxing venture for Turkey Alalshik and Riyadh season outside of the Middle East. Well, on hearing Isaac Cruz's comments, Gervonta Davis fired back at him with a tweet that he soon deleted, an act of controversy he's fondly involved in. Tank posted on X, formerly Twitter, This idiot is doing anything to get a rematch. You'll get what you want and Emma stop your bum. Hey, how about you and well, Isaac I Cruz? I ain't got to tell him hold the belt. I will be there for free. It's interesting to see Tank being open to a rematch against Isaac Cruz after shunning the Mexican severally in the past. It was only after his last fight against Frank Martin that he began entertaining such talks. Immediately after his big win against Frank Martin, Gervonta Davis reawakened an old rivalry, and it was one fans had been clamoring for. An interviewer asked him which fight he wanted next, and he said every one of them. He was further asked which rematch he would favor between a rematch against Isaac Pitbull Cruz or one against Ryan Garcia. He responded both. Pitbull or Ryan? Asked when he'd return and against whom, Davis replied, I just want to get back in the gym and stay focused. But Lomachenko, Shakur Stevenson, and Pitbull Cruz are on my radar. Yeah, he looked, uh, he looked as sharp as last fight. Uh, Speaking specifically about Isaac Cruz, he said, He looked sharp in his last fight. He did what he had to do. We definitely can get a rematch for sure, hopefully sooner or later. He did what he had to do. Um, we definitely can get a rematch. After his latest win and his new fight deal, it is hopeful that Gervonta Davis includes Pitbull Cruz in his plans, as a rematch between both fighters is one to make pay-per-view records.
While Javonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather went through their back and forth, Javonta Davis took aim at Floyd Mayweather Jr., insisting his new fight deal has earned him more than the legend's $200 million deal with Showtime in 2013. That I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, he, that's a part that's of deal. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. He said to Cigar Talk, I'm at the point where I passed him, and I'm doing it at a young age. When Floyd Mayweather was 29, he wasn't doing it like me. You'll see. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing That's exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. He added, that six, seven fight deal that I was talking about, that's bigger than Mayweather's six fight deal that Floyd had with Showtime in 2013, and I'm just releasing it here. With Cruz anticipating an entry into this esteemed list, it's expected that a face-off between both fighters will happen for the second time. Everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV, being joined with the one and only Pitbull Cruz. The and to many fans, there is no better person to end Gervonta Davis's undefeated run than the fighter who ended his 16-match knockout streak in 2021. Isaac Cruz catapulted his career from a middle-of-the-pack contender into a heralded commodity in 2021 when he came in as a late replacement opponent and gave knockout artist Gervonta Davis all he could handle in a close decision loss. The 140-pound champion, Isak, good to see you. Pitbull proved that a fighter can evolve into a star even in defeat, and the performance led to four straight appearances as a co-featured attraction on pay-per-view cards, the most recent one in March being an eighth round stoppage against Rolando Romero to capture his first world title. Good to see you. How are you doing, champ? ¿Cómo estás, champ? Estamos muy bien, muy contento. Cruz will be showcased again on a mega card when he defends his WBA junior welterweight title for the first time against Jose Valenzuela on August 3rd as the co-main event to Riyadh season's debut event in the United States. The show will take place at the BMO Stadium in Los Angeles on Dazen, ESPN, and PPV.com. It will be headlined by the junior middleweight matchup between Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov, along with a performance by rap star Eminem. Just like Eminem is known for a hit list of cult classics, the 26-year-old Mexican fan favorite Cruz is quickly becoming known for his cult following. We're doing really good. We're really happy and happy to be... I'm really happy about how fans come to see me. Cruz told Boxing Scene, my hard work and dedication have led me to where I am now, where the fandom in Los Angeles can feel that I am the people's main event. I will continue to work hard, make sure I keep earning that and give the fans what they want on fight night. I'm free with you, Marcos. Yeah, you have this fight coming up August 3rd in Los Angeles. I give everything I have every day in training camp so I can perform at my peak every time I am in front of the fans. I leave my heart in the ring every time and boxing fans see and feel it. That's why they love me. Whether it is one round or 12 rounds, I will come prepared and make sure the fight is a spectacle. This, uh, Pitbull, you've been in camp, you've been training very hard. The five foot four inch power punching Cruz has been billed as the Mexican Mike Tyson and pegged as the next great Mexican pay-per-view draw after Canelo Alvarez. Cruz said he's ready to parlay Pitbull mania and start headlining his own PPV shows moving forward. Uh, I know this sounds like a, a cliche question, but let fans know how has this I feel that I have the right tools and capabilities physically and mentally to take on that responsibility if that's what's coming next for me said Cruz I think I'm ready for any challenge that comes in front of me I don't fear anyone process been for you going into this camp uh, going and preparing for Rayo I trust my management team to decide what's next for me Cruz is signed to Manny Pacquiao's promotional company Lifelong boxing executive Sean Gibbons serves as Cruz's manager and premier boxing champion's head Al Heyman advises Cruz and has showcased him on PBC shows ever since the fighter made his United States debut in 2019. Cruz's wins against Thomas Matisse, Diego Magdaleno and Francisco Vargas set him up as a credible challenger to Davis. After going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tank, Cruz has since bested Yuriorkis Gamboa Eduardo Ramirez, Giovanni Cabrera, and Romero. I don't know if Davis is afraid or not to face me in a rematch, but what I do know, with the right training camp and right preparation, if I face Gervonta again, I can give him a big surprise, 
said Cruz. Really happy and, you know, the plan is to be able... If Cruz beats the 25-year-old up-and-coming Southpaw Valenzuela in front of what should be a significant Mexican crowd, roars for a rematch clash against Davis will only get louder. Life is all about challenges, said Cruz. If Valenzuela feels like he can be a champion, he has to take challenges with the toughest guy out there. Valenzuela is one of the toughest guys out there too, and that gives me a lot of respect. I'm welcoming the challenge. He's a worthy opponent. Sir. Pitbull, this is your second uh, camp at 140 pounds. How are you getting better at this weight? Have you noticed? Cruz's master plan is to participate in title unification fights. With 140 pound belt holder Teofimo Lopez Jr. leading the bunch and then resume his career once again as a lightweight. Wait, have you noticed any differences uh, coming into the second camp? Uh, how are you I improving at 140? I want to stay at 140 pounds for my two-year plan, and I may go back down to 135 pounds. But for now, I am a 140 pounder, said Cruz. I want to face the other three champions to unify the division. It all depends on who is up to the challenge. That's what it will take for me to get to the next level and become the next supper PPV star. To Isaac Pitbull Cruz, his match against Gervonta Davis was significant in bringing him to the current phase of his career. And he believes if he's going to advance to the next phase, there would be no easier or more significant step to take him there than a rematch against Gervonta Tank Davis. No, no nos sentimos ningún cambio, por eso traemos a gente especializada para que in 30 professional fights spanning 10 years, Tank has steamrolled through the competition with 25 knockouts. Davis's toughest test to date came in 2021 when he faced Isaac Pitbull Cruz. On Davis. Here. He's not showing any type of in this first round. The head movement is important for him, and you don't to, but to find a way to knock you out. And a Cruz being... When Isaac Cruz stepped in on just over one month's notice to face Gervonta Tank Davis, many fans and media members felt Davis was going to face a much easier test than his originally planned bout with Rolando Romero. It's hard to imagine that was incorrect after Cruz was able to give Davis almost all he could handle for 12 rounds at Los Angeles' Staples Center before Davis was able to pull out a narrow unanimous decision win. Davis was able to land many of his trademark power shots in a rare role as the taller man in the fight, but even as his heavy hooks and uppercuts landed, Cruz never appeared hurt. Again, the, the tight guard that Cruz has stop, right stop, now stop, is stop, really stop, helping stop, stop, him, you know, for, for Davis not to land that. A pressure fighter's got to be a thinker in there. He's got to... Why, well, Cruz, that got... That may have been a product of Davis suffering a hand injury midway through the fight. I hurt my left hand in probably the sixth round, but I've got to throw it, Davis said after the fight. I have to go get it checked out. It's shaking, but it is what it is. That's what comes in the sport. From the opening bell, Cruz fought as he almost always does, bullying his way forward to close the distance and keep his opponent from getting comfortable. Oh, oh there he landed right. that right oh, uppercut. Right. What does that mean, usually? <laughs> a minute and a half left here in the fourth. Cruz has had a nice start, though. To Davis, a traditionally slow starter, made the necessary adjustments to Cruz's style beginning around the third round, dialing in with the uppercuts and using movement to keep Cruz from getting inside. As the rounds wore on, whether a product of Cruz's chin, Davis's hand, or both, it was clear Cruz was not going anywhere, and he began to turn the momentum of the fight his way, pulling increasingly close on the scorecards as both men continued to land clean, powerful strikes. There's again the uppercut in the straight left by Davis. Really well, and, stop, and stop. that is a punch that he knocked down Barrios with it. Stay. Let him go. Davis was able to do just a little better in just enough rounds to earn the victory, including in what turned out to be the most important round of the fight, picking up round 12, in a spot that likely saved him from a draw, as the official scorecards read 116, 112, 115, 113, 115, 113. Edging out the victory kept Davis in a solid position in the lightweight division. After dismissing the idea of a rematch with Cruz with a simple hell no, Davis was asked whether he'd stay at lightweight or move back up to super lightweight for his next fight. Whatever the best opportunity is out there for me, I'm here for it, man, Davis said before being asked who in the lightweight division he'd most want to fight next. That's a big part of his game. Oh, so is Davis. Oh, big up by Davis and Davis now. 
Going upstairs, oh. right hook misses. And we talk about Davis's. All these guys are easy workers. They're easy work, man. Easy work. I'm the top dog. Cruz was only the second man to take Davis to the scorecards in Davis's professional career. The decision victory ended a streak of 16 consecutive stoppage wins for Davis. For his part, Cruz did call for a rematch, claiming to have deserved the win. Wrestling, a lot of grappling as we head to round nine in the uppercut by Cruz. He said, if you can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Cruz had good moments. While a rematch seemed unlikely, Davis made it clear that Cruz's gutsy effort had made an impression. He's a definite warrior, Davis said. Even though he didn't get the win, a star was born tonight. Davis edged Cruz in total shots landed, 133 to 121. The 121 landed punches by Cruz were the most ever by a Davis opponent. Immediately after the fight and the following months afterward, Davis maintained that he had no interest in fighting Cruz again. But later on, the Baltimore-bred knockout artist is changing his stance. There's a Stravis. Crafty combination. Counter right hook land straight. I'll fight him again. I will stop him next time. And how can people say I lost this fight? Oh my god. I did a lot of nonsense in this fight though for sure, Davis said in a pair of deleted posts on Twitter. Following the contest versus Cruz, Davis admitted that he was dealing with a left-hand injury that limited him during the bout. In the second half of the fight, Davis lost considerable steam from his offense as Cruz mounted his competitive comeback. But again, down there, and he, boom, that's where he got him on. There's that lead right uppercut that landed. Cruz's fight next Saturday will be his first defense as a world champion after dethroning Rolando Romero in March. Cruz snared the WBA's junior welterweight title with a dominant display, not allowing Romero to get settled, pouring on the pressure from the first bell before closing the show in style. Cruz came out bombing, arcing overhand rights and swiping away with left hooks. Romero, who's now 15, too, was moving as the Pitbull chants filled the T-Mobile arena. With around a minute left in the round, a left hook buckled Romero's legs and he was all at sea. The crowd lost its mind, but he made it through. Sat in his corner between rounds, Romero was doused with water, but it looked like he needed something stronger. Oh, I, I know you mentioned that, but, but I... Tries to hold down, now Romero at distance trying to go to the body. Hurt in round one, but did not go down, but Cruz plays, but he has power. Cruz was clubbing away to start the second, investing to the body and then going upstairs, and Romero was trying to keep it long, but Cruz was bullying his way in, loading up and letting them go. They traded right hands to end round two. Through the third, Raleigh had done well to steady the ship. The crowd booed, indicating he was doing something right. If the crowd was frustrated, that probably meant Cruz was too. But with a minute to go in the session, Cruz cranked up the pace after Raleigh had been guilty of staying on the inside too long. Cruz did not need to be invited to work in the pocket, and he duly obliged. The challenger burst through with a left to the body and a left upstairs in the fourth, and he rocked Romero this way and that with a follow-up barrage as the chants of Mihaiko reverberated loudly around the arena. Romero was warned by referee Thomas Taylor for holding in the fifth, and Taylor then deducted a point from the title holder for the same infraction later in the session. What's amazing is Roli is cracked. This is his 20. Romero said beforehand that he felt he had the power to keep Cruz off him, but Pitbull clearly disagreed. Cruz continued to surge forward, thudding in a straight right as Romero moved off to his left. As the fight progressed, Cruz wasn't operating at the same frenetic pace he had started with, but he still was able to land a left hook and a right hand. Then, just as Romero started to have some success with his right hand, Cruz cannoned a right uppercut off his chin, and Romero was in dire straits. The title holder from Las Vegas was groggy and desperately tried to hold, but he also bravely tried to fire back to get Cruz off him. All other strategy you want to impart to 16 for Romero. The doctor allowed Romero to come out for the eighth, though there was an air of inevitability about where the fight was headed. Romero would likely have welcomed the break when the action was paused to fasten tape around one of Cruz's gloves, but as the fighters reunited in the center of the ring, Cruz crashed through Romero's gloves with more lefts and rights. Romero retreating, eats another left and right for the challenger, Esau Cruz. 
The referee had seen enough after 56 seconds of the eighth had elapsed, and that's all for now. What are your thoughts on a possible rematch between Gervonta Tank Davis and Isaac Pitbull Cruz? Do you think will be the fighter to give Tank the first loss of his career? Let's know your thoughts in the comments section. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.